Good afternoon. Welcome to another installment of uh, Club Rugby in Johannesburg, the Castle Lager Pirates Grand Challenge Club Championship. That's actually been taking place here. It's been fire week in and week out. We are now about to be enticed to a wonderful encounter where the Chiefs are hosting University of Johannesburg. And uh, strange enough today, They've borrowed the Paris rugby field. Don't be surprised you see familiar uh, Paris uh, uh, branding. Uh, as you look around, if you're not on site, it's because I think uh, uh, Wanderers have actually borrowed the field. To listen, we've got other things taking place at our home ground. We cannot move. But today we're going to be enjoying ourselves here at Paris Rugby Club, which is a lovely club, which they understand club rugby. Sometimes you got to be neighborly in that regard to make sure that the game continues and carries on as it should. Just to quickly run through the team, the teams, while the teams are getting ready to run onto the field, I'm going to start with the visiting teams here. Yeah? UJ is going to be the team that's going to be coming on in the front rowers. It's going to be Yafta, McLuggan, Van Rensberg are going to be the front rowers, and the midfield and the engine room is going to be Magadla, Piane, and then the loose fold is going to be open side, Brunewald, Mwaza, and Aisel is going to be the number eight. And it comes to the backs now, it's going to be Bevan Bosch. They'll be pairing part with backs. So we actually had a lovely game last week. Fortunately, going short, fell short against uh, Virtual University, but the uh, inside centers outside. It's going to be Keda, he's going to be in the inside of Tlamin. Tlamin is going to be in the outside. And Krill and Fenyana, and uh, the fullback there. Sitane is going to be actually anchoring that wing of string situation happening at the back there. And the reserve is going to be Avu Tepe, Luyolo Yekwa. JP Swanapul Mitle, Lozi Guava, and Kyle Erk is going to be Arden Van Ruen, Gamili Shoro, and Aya Mangaza is going to be the pack. The 22 that's going to be coming, 23 that's going to be actually taking on the Chiefs today. And then the Chiefs I can go quickly to them. It's going to be the front row, it's a pair of young front row. They're running a bit of repairs, a bit of the old boys of injured illnesses, but they've got youngsters who are going to be coming up against UJ today. And obviously you find out that the Rev is controlling that city is being micromanaging. It's because of the age group of those youngsters, 19-year-olds who are going to be playing in the first team to be Tabiso Sape, Kutwana Modiba. Patrick Fitzgerald is obviously all campaigner there is around, but one of the few just safety comes first. A blessing in Namampara and Bryce Eater is going to be in the middle. Iro Nyoni, Sianda, Tlatwayo and Rika Kumanga is going to be the loose forwards. Come to the back class, if he's so close in Tavenga, are going to be the, taking control of proceedings and incentives. It's going to be Tebuko and Tlapa, the captain and Tertu Faber, who's actually been around the uh, uh, block a bit as well, and they've played a few games together. Seabonga, Mukhala Simpiwe Daga, and Michael Poo, going to be the wings and strings uh, situation, control the Basa Piwa Jaga, and the bench is not complete, but hopefully I can get the rest of them before they had the to come on and such. But at this point in time, I've only got a reserve scrum of Kamil Wubkamp and uh, Justice Muir in uh, Jersey 20 and Keegan Mar in Jersey 19 and Razi Tutile is going to be the reserve prop on the bench here for the Chiefs. They're running loan repairs the same as the Chiefs, but the one must actually recommend the fact that they do show up, they do show some enthusiasm. They love club rugby, club rugby is to be enjoyed and making sure I'm mean, gonna give credit to Guy Carl Rouse, who certainly week in and week out to make sure that he gets a team going here to just hold up the Chiefs jersey, to hold up that pride of the Chiefs that they sometimes come up and shop with here today. But let's hope today is not different. Of it, there's gonna be a bit of champagne rugby coming from the UJ side, which felt like last week they were undercooked in terms of skills and ability to able to close opportunities that they had. And today, if any time, they should be able to do that and sometimes when you're playing a, an inferior uh, opponent it's very important that you put yourself very firmly in the basic sector of things so when you do run around you make sure that you actually do the basics well and then the fancy things look much much glamorous but let's see how there's the, they're getting ready to go the man in the middle the man in the middle is going to be none other than Des van Veik obviously it's a second header by A.R. Louis Sneeman and Renier van Tonder are going to be the heirs for today's encounter, which should be a mouth-watering one as we wait. And uh, obviously the Guijo squad and the teams, and obviously the second team 
that just played. Actually, the old boys comprising of that, most of that team here trying to show up week in and week out as well, showing their compassion and their passion with the Chiefs. And then they're not done yet. And obviously now just showing off a bit of camaraderie, making a tunnel on both sides, the Chiefs on one side and then UG on the other side. So both teams are going to be running to the guard of honor, which is comprised by both teams, which is actually quite nice. So this is a nice way to start. And then led by the captain, there's going to be very uh, Baxter. And today he's going to be operating, I think, from center. Let me double check my uh, my crib notes here. No, that is Indy Jenga from UJ. I think this is actually weird. I swear the guy playing in jersey number 10 is Baxter because he was playing fullback last week. I know definitely Baxter I've got my numbers crossed a bit, but I think it's all fixed now. That 12 looked like a 10 from a distance, or 12, 10 looked like a 12 from a distance. Absolutely right, so the big team is ready to go. But Baxter is going to be actually hanging deep, waiting for that exit. And they're just waiting for the Chiefs as they come around the corner. Just taking their time, led by the captain, my captain, the Leclapa there. The Buche Leclapa, obviously, instrumental captain, is always around, is always involved. Don't be surprised, he's in the middle of everything today. He's right in the middle, in the center position, and obviously, they're pairing with the Titi Faber, which really they've built some relationship between the two, each other. Clapper is actually wearing jersey number 13 today. I think the two might have strictly switched jerseys. Now they're causing me a bit of cul de sac. But I'll have to deal with that one as soon as possible. Shepard Tavengwa is the one who's going to be starting off today. Ready, UJ? They loud and clear the man in the middle. The main man makes the final rules. His word is final. He cannot argue with that. Shepard just gets himself ready, pushing his charges back. They're slightly too tight to the line. To get a timing right, nice and high, contestable. The man who's going to be receiving there is first is that Misha, was it Guana, was Guava, taking it up and obviously quick in the two things that Dinam was just taking it up and getting across. Oh, Baxter has just got a bit of a hallelujah, but he drifted on the pass, absolutely did a great job with that. Unfortunately, Zander Aisel was not able to reciprocate that quality of passing on the outside. The winger was actually lurking. The left winger, but also need to get this right. I think Mayor Grill is playing on the left, and as a is playing on the right, and they've got the jersey soup on my list. I don't know if it was a last minute thing situation, but these guys like to throw a kill the set for me, yeah. But I'll manage to actually deal with it as I go. Nice uh, exit, the nice penalty mittage that they got, uh, UJ. Nice position to be operating from just outside the 22. Option. There's a couple of options there. Big man Aisel gets uh, the nod. Ball is out, given to the Raman. Bosch gives away. Bringing back the force into the color thing. I think that was slightly forward. In that tramel, and obviously the grass here yeah, is going to be very dusty today. So anyone that wearing those white jerseys, I feel sorry, whoever's going to be washing them. By the end of this game, they definitely won't be white. One thing that uh, you just certainly have is a scrum. A man who can't wait to actually start going in the Zoyasa, Van Ransberg, McLaughlin, and Yafta. 
and also playing against youngsters and obviously rugby is about challenges as well. Remember if you've been put into the hot Crouch. side of things or you've been dropping the deep end, sometimes it's good to learn Mind. to swim. Unabated. Let's see how they manage to swim in this section. Six. Just gonna be really controlling. Oh, already in trouble, guys. UJ. And the sweet, so there's not waiting for no one. Rosie just gonna, I think they might be playing under advantage. I don't think there was a clear 10 there. At least from my liking, but I think Mr. Ref in the middle is happy. UJ have turned it over. Tino was a take it up, and it's really Werner Grunewald. Staying on his feet as long as possible. Hopefully, the ref hasn't called the ball yet, but no. Drove his leg as far as the ball has been turned over. They're actually fighting for it on the ground. I don't know who's going to come up with it. And obviously, Lozzi said, No, you're not taking it from my mouth already. This is Kamava, unable to get that ball from him as well. Good uh, fight in the tackle there from the Chiefs. And obviously, that fight I was talking about that they, they showed in week in and week out. And who else but the captain himself got involved in there and making sure that ball doesn't come out? Uh, captain the Clapper. Bind, there was a little one. Um, but on set, it kept on going. Okay, so just adjust. All right. Good communication there from the Mr. Van, Van Vick. Just to give a clarification what the prop did there. Usually they don't know what they could have done wrong in that instance. Crouch. Now at least they know they just need to show a bit of patience. Bye. And engage, just hold the weight long enough. As soon as you just get to Wait it, and is very smart as well, waiting for a moment. And that needs to be channel one. And it's not channel, the ball is turned over. Good still there from Bosch. Boss gets it away to his centers. And comes back into the big man. Uh, Krill has been brought in on a reverse angle there. No. Bring back back to the big prop. Aisol gets it out to Baxter. Baxter does a hallelujah pass to his fullback. <laughs> Who certainly just had to pause for a second because that ball was coming 100 no. miles an hour. And so was the defense as well. Ah. Bosch is looking for someone to pass. He doesn't get. Virtually gets his uh, center pairing. And Baxter, Baxter gets to Krill. Krill does a wonderful thing. Just a run around is a flanker. With a slight high tackle, I think that was enough for the open side fender Werner Hunewald to do enough uh, to get around. That was well played there from the left winger. I beg your pardon, left winger, Mayor Grill, who certainly just pulled the man and kept his feet and offloaded. Let's have a look again how wonderful that basic skill was executed. Obviously, that pass at back that does a bit of a long one and comes in Mayor Grill. And certainly the looping ray of the loose forward as well. Just keeping his heads up. Last week he got a bit short in terms of the skill department, but he must have worked with it in this week and making sure he gets himself in open spaces because he does hang around the fringes, rising around the outside uh, side of things where he runs around wings and uh, with wings or uh, around wings as well. So it's very important as well to show a bit of ability well to actually finish when he gets a chance. And let's see if Baxter is going to convert. Static bridging in and actually transport. That's what he's starting at UJ. <laughs> yeah, Baxter wasn't able to do that on his bit too much, right on the touchline. Shepard uh, Tavengua. That opportunity to restart. Well, I think uh, this man is at a few the way he restarts as well. I think uh, that whole man was slightly just enough for anyone to be able to contest. And uh, what an excellent kick. Turnover is done. The big man does decide. Listen, let me show my share of skills as well. Sape. Unfortunately, that didn't go very far. And then uh, Lorenzo needs to get involved and bring back the big number eight. Manga. In the middle again, and as Lamini gets it and then goes to his seat. Oh! Press it a blessing. Namampara, they was not ready for that one. And Bosch is not going to ask for a second invitation with a fullback on his side. Tumelo Sita Sekane, they're certainly running his men and making obviously the obvious a considerable thing as well. That backs against a complimentary two points as well. Absolutely heads up rugby there from the little scrum of. The Chiefs are unable to capitalize on the opportunity. And obviously, that one, the fullback says, Show me your number. 
So let's say nah, you might have a 10 in your bag. Certainly I've got more, five numbers more than you. It means I'm quicker. And certainly they went and scored that ball. Tumelo, Sitane. Absolutely beautiful try. The counter-attack try, Marbi says it's a freebie. The man who does a bit of business, a diploma there, UJ. Certainly knows around him. his way around the field, the rugby field as well. And by the look of things, and I mean, I did mention it that uh, UJ, they need to just clean up on their basics here. Everything else is going to take care of itself. So far, so good. They've done so exactly that. And just under 10 minutes already, 12 points on the scoreboard. And then obviously, what a joy for the coaches for them to be in that situation. But I must say one thing they should be worried about though is the kickoffs. They haven't been unable, they have been unable to actually collect them cleanly at this point in time. But must be compliment obviously the Shepherd Tevangwa, who certainly puts them on the tick as well, giving his team an opportunity to counter. Who hasn't had a chance yet to actually just correct it and do something with it. This one slightly too deep, well collected there by a tender. But tender is actually well met in contact by the open side flanker there. We knew and he was like, Nana, not on my watch today. I think they're gonna go for a four men, four men line out, four plus one. So this four men could simply be a drive because they've got the number eight on the outside. In the... Oh, certainly the ball is not cleanly taken. What Diva just something with it, but it's going backwards and 100 miles an hour, stolen but knocked on in the process of learning. Aisle. Giving it back and the ball is with champagne rugby. They're going backwards but trying to keep Wait the ball up. alive is the Chiefs. They consider it as a captain, Leclerc Pele gets involved as well. But they're trying to take on running into face, and there's a whole traffic of white jerseys in front of him. He's got himself in a very sticky situation. The ball has been turned over. UJ letting the ball do the work. And obviously, grill the ankle tap was just enough to slow him down, to just bring him back to earth. Bring the big guy there, Van Rensburg. Does he get it? No, he doesn't get it. His fellow hooker gets it, but he's there to support. Oh, Bosch is looking for the ball. He's not clean leave enough. Him, him. Is it Makaklo's going to get it to Peñana? And Baxter gets it and gets it. A long one to Jetta. Jetta gets it. And number 80, Aisel, does he have the wheels? Certainly does have the wheels. Aisel, as simple as he does it. Another five points. And certainly now. UJ feel like they, they're in charge of things. Let's have a look how they actually got to that one. Bosch gets it and give it to the big man. Big man says, I'm not taking it up. Long pass to Jetta. Jetta does a one skip. Eight men into number in a gap. They hear the right wing on his side. Fanyana, but he didn't need a silly slight handoff just to complete the tackle and the conversion is also good. So I think uh, UJ now is cruising nicely. Baxter having hit two conversions out of three tries. Another kick off. Ball is taken there by the blind side flanker to Mulam as well. Ooh, almost an intercept, but well taken away from the loser. Probably loser pressure, a bit of wheels as well. And the force are just showing their hands. And Krillet eventually the final recipient, but he's not going down without a fight as well. Always in front, was not got enough support there. Big fella does a dummy there. Oh, what a dummy there from McLaughlin. He's got support, but he's still carrying on, bringing him back the big fella, Van Rensberg, who's been lurking the whole time. And the man eventually gets it, who's supposed to clean. This is and then the big uh, front row has got it as well. He's going to open side of the, the wing. has not going to... Oh, my goodness. Easy does it. <laughs> Fenyana goes on off on the right-hand side. But that ball is had the makings of everyone, especially the front row. One to five, really at the hand in there. Let's have a look again. The final product, and look at that. There's a scrum off who's supposed to be the man sitting with that ball, but unfortunately, he doesn't need him. And obviously, Van Rensburg doing the great thing, long past his big 
Open side flank, Grunewald, who's a strike scorer himself. Slotting a simple pass to his right with the right wing open here. As a Martin Fenyane just completing a, the, the fourth try so far. And the conversion was also simplified. Now we've got four tries here. To UJ four converted tries. Another brilliant kick off there, and obviously, the man who's actually hungry for playing here is Grunewald. He's going to be hustling everything there. Oh, a bit from the side, the ball was open. I think it was ready to play from the inside center. Oh, two did their favor, actually almost getting away with it. But Bosch managed to find enough there. The man who's not going to stop fighting. The ball is turned over a bit of a good step from the big man, Sabe. Needs cleaners and who gets it? Lozi, Lozi doesn't. Oh, his fly just set his everyone under front. A good defense there from UJ, pushing as a line. That ball is stolen. Who comes up with it? Oh, Tekla. Tekla, unfortunately, go was not quick enough. Unfortunately, that was a brilliant steal there from Anela Magatla. But unfortunately, it was not going to be rewarded because the first infringement is the Tekla, who actually didn't roll away at this point in time. Was Krill who made a brilliant tackle. From an umbrella defensive system would actually they push hard on the outside, not allowing the Chiefs to get that ball as wide as possible. But listen, the opportunities they're getting, they're turning over the ball. It is unfortunate that they're not getting the points and they're actually getting shut down at source as quickly as possible. Watch, watch. Yeah, another line out, another shot man line out. It's a formal option again. Four plus one. Walks in and was not the big man. I think the line is slightly key. But Mahape got it. But he throws it away to his captain, who's the recipient of that ball. He clapping, looking for opportunities. But UJ's very stingy defense is actually in their face most of the time. And then the ball comes out. Fly have decided to no listen. I'm going to go by myself. Tavengwa, but he's actually driving back. I'm sure the one person is going to be, but they need to be patient. And then obviously, UJ just keep on doing what they're doing because that actually that gate is closing as quickly as possible. The club is not getting an opportunity. The defense is very stingy, forceful defense. And that's when you attack with the ball and you know, without the ball. And a bit of a run around there from Glozzi. Glozzi gets it back. Unfortunately, the secondary supporting play was not there to actually to allow him to play a penalty. The nine cannot actually stop him. Bosch actually is ready, to, but he's not on the mark. He needed to watch where the ref was. And obviously, legally, you cannot stop anyone way. from playing quickly if That's it's within here. the five. And then the scrum up did exactly that. And uh, Baxter says, listen, let's get it out of trouble here. Finian, who's on the right hand side? But Finian has actually got the wheels. He won't need any support at this point in time. Quick hands uh, And Baxter is actually sharp him and Bosch. I'm not trying to be playing stump called rugby today. It's all about champagne, coast to coast, and keeping it alive. And it's got a brace. The speed on the right hand side. And obviously, that skip pass and thing. And I said, listen, cleaning up is opposite number. The slight hand of, I think, the wheels has already done the job. Just running around him and actually left doing a certainly not being able to do that. He left for dead and Michael Poo, which is unfortunate. But listen, they're getting a lot of ball here, but they don't have the opportunities to go anyway. Because UJ defense is really angry today. They're not taking any prisoners. They are attacking without the ball, and when they do get the ball, that's when they show their real skills, keeping the ball alive, giving some air, getting to the open channels away from traffic which is actually brilliant they're, done. they're not shying away from the physicality but i think they're more physical where they don't have the ball in hand 
and the man who's actually going to be benefiting a lot of is the man who does honors in investment. City so doesn't know his way around money as well. Let's see, there goes Boschen, and who does he get? They get big front doors, and they're forgetting involved. There's that man who actually had no chance in the beginning, Makatla. Breaks away, and an offload is actually pin perfect to little Bosch. He's being chased by his opposite number, and he's got a chance to say, Listen, show me your number. I ah, know, I still got more on you, number nine. And does a drop kick, and suddenly he didn't even wait for anyone to come around. <laughs> it's perfect, bro. Bosch, never look again. Oh, and that was a beautiful take there from offloader from the big man. That's what you dominate. Anela Magala dominated his contact point. And he was unable to do that. And look at that. Just send his opposite number packing. And then the cheeky drop kick as well. That was absolutely brilliant. Not wasting any time. So they're here to do a business. And that business is a business of scoring tries. I mean, that's the one that's probably getting seven pointers. Giving backs a bit of a break as well. So listen, you don't have to come run on here. I can finish the job by myself. Oh, that is not 10, but for him, it doesn't matter. It takes it up, makes it alive. He activates it, means they can use it now. Porsche is getting two point. Who does he get? Get Baxter. Baxter does a show and go. Gives a short pass, unfortunately. Slightly forward there to the big fella. And is actually running with some freedom as a lucid prop. Good. 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 After the. He's running almost like a flank at some point. And that pays. And obviously, when you've got the skills and you've got the lines and you've got a game plan on lock, why not? Okay, did you have the chat? All right. The three went off now. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay, we're uncontested, Jen. Same ball, same ball. No striking, please. Well, I suppose I should Rest, take some weight. Stay bound, okay. Offside still applies, so stay bound. That should take the weight of the Chiefs in terms of that yep, department now. Bind. Basically, all they need to worry about now, get a ball out and actually play, so that at least good things are going to come from scrum from Crunch. now on. Let's bind. now see if they can do Six. something from a first phase from a scrum. And certainly could be a position. The only pressure they'll be getting is certainly from the scrum off. Clean ball there. Flav actually. Ey! And certainly doesn't wait for a second invitation at Avenga. Takes it up now. Bring it, bring it back to the big man in the middle. Modiba, I think is back into contact. But that ball almost got stolen by, by Yafta. Because he gets it and gives it to Avenga. Tavenga gives it to his captain. Captain come back into top frame and come back to support as well. The clapper. But then that ball is actually very slow, giving Luigi the chance of Walter Wenger is involved again. That was a reckless hand in space there. I think of his deliberate knockdown from the number eight. He needs to get back 10 as well. I don't think he is, especially the big man. But Los is running into traffic. He does he have support? He does have support there. Unfortunately, is that enough to get a quick ball? has been striked there. Hold. Tavenga is waiting on the left. Who does he give? Clap against it. Oh, Captain Desiree Hospital pass. Oh, a bit of high tackle there on the captain. Caught him around the neck there. Debuchale Klapa is lucky to have got that one. and actually got a penalty, you know, obviously. You just, just getting the technique wrong at that point. Is Le Klapa going to take Klapa. the three? Oh, he's actually a smart man, know how to manipulate space. He's going to use his opportunity as much as he can. I mean, we did mention before that because of uh, age difference and obviously the lack of props, from the Chiefs, UJ will have to mend the fact that they have to actually, they are propped now, have to save that energy and use and it elsewhere. Action. Which so far they've been doing, I must say. Crouch. They've dominated a little bit of scrum that they put a scrum. Now it's the rest time Six. when it comes to scrum. Just keep that discipline, stay bound. And then switch on those engines when the ball leaves the scrum. Close, he gets it. Who does he give? Bring it back to the inside centre. Tutti favour, who takes it up. Giving his captain a bit of a break, who's playing on the outside. Tavenga does have a chip and chase, a dangerous thing to do with Baxter lacking, and then he's looking for an opportunity. No tackle. No tackle complete, so he can stand up and play again. Does grill, grill, who does he get? Oh, danger, danger zone, danger zone. Who's that on the outer side? Things are outside center. He's been quiet so far, as with Lamini. But he's a very dangerous man, given space and opportunity to do so. 
almost got away. Someone needs to give him a smaller jersey. If he had a smaller jersey, I think he might have had a chance of getting away there. Unfortunately, not this time. He was struck down and brought down. Crouch. Come. Bind. Six. Not an easy ball feed there for Lozi. Okay, to get Tavenga. Tavenga does a long looping pass there to the replacement. I think it must be the fullback playing in the actually Chakao playing in the number 16 jersey. The man is trying to favor there, is fighting his way all the way. Leave it, leave I think it. the hands need to stay out of it, trying to contest that. Oh! First infringement, there was hands in the rack there. The ref could not award that a privilege again after that because the disruption has taken place. Sviswet Laminine couldn't get away, he was already striked. But the Chiefs have got a chance here at Tavengwa. He's got an acute angle. How much is he going to get from that? Whoops, not a lot. Definitely giving a ball away there. Sichaba, Sichaba brings his back. Backside in the middle is certainly playing like a show and go. It beats about three. He's switched past there. But it's, it's, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. My God. <laughs> That's an engine. That's a V8 with twin turbo. Certainly he's got enough gas in that power source. He didn't need to offload. He said it with ball in two hands, ball in one hand, just giving that opportunity. When a ball comes around, Anela Magadla showing off. Let's have a look again. But look at the interplay there of the 10 12 combination. It's actually get Chedi there giving away to the lock. Absolutely, Anela. What a sprint. Gallivanting like a giraffe he is. Giraffe certainly like a big man with a pair of heels. If you don't take him right the first time, you might be lucky to get him the second. Beautiful try there from the big man. Yeah, no, it can't, it can't be. Yeah, they just don't have anyone else. Okay, yeah. gotta go, gents. Gotta speed oh, it up, please. Baxter wants more. He wants his scrums as well. Like, listen, man, you don't need the scrums. You're doing all the damage on your own with open rugby. Interplay women, Jeddah, in the Jeddah. Absolutely beautiful champagne rugby, right? soft hands. Listen, at this point in time, he might be wearing jersey number 10, but he's doing a lot of action from counter attacks as if the balls are always ready and waiting for him to go. The Chiefs need to find some energy Close somewhere, need to find Close some rejuvenation somewhere. This score is going to run away from them if you're not careful. We're not even there by the 30 minutes already, almost hitting 50. So it could be disastrous. Oh. Tavenga, cheeky kick off of but I know you're looking for trouble. <laughs> Considering Mozikwana, Mozikwava, he's been a handful as well. Timing, timing. Gets that kick off and I turn it off at drag time. Bring it back down to the forwards and actually trying to mingle there. And there's a. That's a mole, Jace. Like a manga taking it up. It's a mall. If that ball doesn't come out, it's definitely going to be it's lost. Over now. Ball's on the ground. Okay. Leave it. Okay. Ball is on the ground. Ball, ball is on the ground. sympathetic. I mean, Rosie gets to keep it. Does a bit of a run step. Kept on the clap, but it does have a good step, but Release. runs into traffic. Well, strike there, but a big tight hit. Tavengo does a drop pass, but drop pass actually selling off his inside center. Yay! <laughs> yes, Van Rensburg, does he have enough? I mean, you saw what uh, that big man was doing as well. Oh, offside. I think the Chiefs are all offside. Quick play there. It has not been touched. He can still play. He does play this Baxter. Baxter gives it back to his Jeda. Jeda looking for his full back there. Sichaba, Sichaba, you see? Sichana actually gets. Oh! Talking about a timing on a tackle. Chiefs are king himself, but they're not out of trouble yet. I think the first infringement is a knock-on from the right winger there. Asemate Sefanyane was unable to hold on to that ball. Unfortunately, in that tackle situation, ball and all tackle there from the Chief to save the day. There was a bit of a havoc at the moment here. 
UJ running everything that they can. Even the big men, uh, Jordan McLagan, Yasser Van Rensburg, showing a pair of heels in everything they do. I think some of those engines must be actually boiling over. But uh, they're not complaining, they're enjoying their rugby. At this point in time, it's all about collecting points, making sure everything gets get accounted for. Okay, let's go, G. Uncontested scrums. Uh, so close, he's got no stress of now having a bad ball from here. Problem is now the fly has got freedom to do a bit more. Sheba Tevengwa. Crouch. But he does have some Fine. few strings up his leg. I think the captain is a bit away from the action. He probably would have Six. liked to have actually been that close to the Klappe. But he chose to play on the outside and give the chance there to Titi Faber to play on the inside as opposed to crash up most of the Six. time. And as overs look like it's going to be the move, but Faber didn't have a leverage. But giving that exit kick absolutely perfect there from the captain. Got his team out of his own half way into the... Oh, actually, just on the halfway line. I would have thought at least a few meters outside the halfway line the would line have been a, ideal. <laughs> but it's still a good purchase on that kick. Short line out, I okay. think that didn't go to me. That okay, was not straight. intended. Yeah. It was Obviously. short and not straight. Okay. Double one there the from the Chiefs. Straight. And certain when it drains, it pours at this point in time. Nothing is working. They've tried keeping the ball in hand. They've been met with some serious force and defensive disgust with it. Uh, UJ is really not taking any prisoners. Now they try the technical ability of kicking, which has worked so far, but now trying to come with some innovation. Innovative line out, which actually I don't know if they've had a lot Fine. of time to practice. Did it really go to plan there? Is UJ? Close is like gonna take this one. Not a very good pass from him, sitting his life under pressure, but takes it to the half a gap that he gets. Leave it now, off it. But at least Grandma tried to get in there, Bosch. Getting there is a flankers as well, getting, getting mixed. Not here, not here, 19. Uh, getting involved. Captain, my captain has realized that there's no opportunities, but the kicking boot is still getting them just closer. <laughs> the ball is still on. UJ is not going to wait for anyone because everyone is waiting. Bex is getting on the outside. He actually skins his man. Oh, skins too. But keeping the ball alive with McLeg and Adil Luka. Jordan just hands off once and listen, I can still wrestle and rumble with the best of them. And there's that big man. Oh, subtle hands there from the big man. Yafta, what can he do? Return a favor. And certainly it does. And then that ball needs to come and kick. Bosch gets it, but he's got traffic. Bexa is in his right foot position. Jera, what does he do? Nice, simple does it. Got three more jerseys. He can choose if he wants to give it away to the center, Lamini, or he tends to keep it. I think he's not uh, willing to give it to anyone. He'll keep it to himself. That was enterprising rugby from UJ. The Fords running freely there. McCartley interplay with you have to pass, give, and let give. Let's have a look again. Oh, look at that Bosch, simple hands and many guys to use in the force, but then Jada said, like, no, Lamini is going to be enough, he's got a right winger there, full back, and Krill came all the way from the other side to come assist. They certainly had enough numbers to do more damage if they wanted to, just show off as well, interplay if they wanted, with that interplay rugby they're doing now, now they're looking like a university of, 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 of long, of back in the day where UJ used to love running. And now yesterday, obviously last week, would have been a sore point for them. And I'm sure they worked hard this week and making sure they rectify those things. And obviously the competition is not the same, but the terms of how they show up in terms of playing, the displaying, the basics is actually evident that, listen, they might be playing a team that doesn't have much, but certainly they're gonna show them what they can do by simply just playing the, the basics to the T. Chiefs are slightly in front of the ball, there, but uh, the ref is not going to mind the match, just a few inches. Bosch gets it again with my club. Oh my goodness, this man is busy. Magadla has been in everything here, and at this time decided to just recycle, bring Jordan into the mix as well, takes a few. Release. He's got support, and Van Ransberg is there to clean. Bosch has also got dummy runners waiting. 
Who does he get? No, he comes in. Oh, the fullback Magunus coming. Oh! Like knife through butter, Sekane. Chops him up like he's chopping his money. And certainly there was nothing on there. I think Baxter was not in position. And Bosch was looking for someone there to play. And he was just waiting on the second era take line. But that kick was not so good. Let's have a look again. To Melissa Kennedy, that ball was not intended for him, but he made lemonade with something that was, there was some sort of lemon that he was given. And how beautiful did he make that look? Absolutely brilliant. Just ball in two hands, flat foot, tippy toe, and a bit of a jinx as well. I certainly left Chiefs all gasping for air and gasping for people. And this score is actually going to get away going from them as well. Fullback getting into a mix of things. I think he might also have a brace. Fullback. The man who's getting a lot of practice in the kickoffs department. UJ. Absolutely. Also. Oh, what a take. Oh, my goodness. Well met by his opposite number. I think did exactly well in the Mfenyane. Was not going to let his man get away. But Jada's like not waiting for him. Baxter's like, no, nope. we're here to play, guys. There's no time. Open said, I just correct that one. Grunewald, I think he fumbled it too many times, which is unfortunate. But Baxter's idea, like, listen, guys, when they think about lineups, when they think about first place, we're not here to be playing from first phase. We're going to show them what we do with the open play. This point in time, this back line of UJ is seeing flames, is tasting flames, and spewing fire at the same time. An absolutely brilliant entertainment there for the crowd watching at this point in time, wherever you are as well. I'm sure you are entertained. And this is open rugby, champagne rugby at its best. I mean, we are going to the country of champagne in France later on this year with the World Cup. And obviously a lot of rugby is going to be played. I'm sure this champagne will probably not get. Crouch, bind, sit. And then close to getting ready to feed. You can even put a channel three if he wants at this point in time because there's no pressure. Ay, Bo! <laughs> UJ has got tricks up their sleeves all day. Bexa is looking for numbers, he's looking for space. And he does get his wines, wines, keep all of them. Oh, Lamini, Lamini, Lamini. What are you doing in my brother? Bread basket, there a hole. Unfortunately, looked up for a second, that ball was gone. He was already counting his chickens, and I mean, the white run line was very far, which is unfortunate. I mean, something that I was talking about basics. You can't tell me now, it's already not even half time yet. Like, just uh, over five minutes before half time, so you can't be tired. There's more rugby to be played here. That was one missed opportunity. I already put my pen down and put a number five pointer, depending whose number on the back I was going to use. But already counted it. That's why Baxter is not even looking for contact. Crouch. He's looking for open spaces. But what brilliant defense from the Leeds Scrum up. Six. But then Bosch is being sharp. He realized that, listen, <laughs> I think Los is not coming this way again. <laughs> Jenna closing it down in the middle there. Close has to come back to this side. The force just get out of, a, out of trouble here on the other side. Camel. Which come come and then bring him back the front. Oh! Yafta's like, listen, boy, not going away today. Showing his actually his worth as well in defense as well. Set to try to carve something out of nothing here. Yeah? I think that ball is stolen, holding up a drag by the ball, and Chiefs managed to get it out of trouble. Oh! But they are trying. Champagne rugby all over, trying to avoid contact scenario. I think the initial attempt is still there from UJ didn't work. Ended up being lost, but the tackles are coming in thick and fast. Gumet Yaftane not taking any prisoners, making sure he's putting pool canvas. I mean, this is a young team. So UJ has got an intent of getting these guys ready for next year or varsity cup all galak. I mean, age of 20, 21. Probably just a few who are roaming at 23, 24. I mean, Sean Baxter. Probably one of those Crouch. who are around 24 that shows Five. his experience as well. Six. He's not yet here for a long time, he's here for a good time. 
Let's just get it out again. Tafenga gets but a long winding pass from the inside center. Which is outside captain, but that one didn't go to play. Yeah, but it six unnecessary. Oh my goodness, uh, just ill discipline that from UJ other guys because they're not getting a bit of action. I think Chiefs are going to play under advantage. That player was on the ground, you're not allowed to dive on the player falling down. He's fine, he's from the back. Another one just got striked as well. Luckily, Isel almost took one for the scalp there. Tafengo does a cross kick and it's actually a good one. But why wait for the bounce? My goodness! The left wing I misread completely that move there. He should have gone all the way. Michael Poo, he waited for the bounce. Usually you don't wait for the bounce. The part was high enough. Should have actually went and jumped into the ball and get it. Let's have a look again. Pin perfect from Tavenga there. Look at that cross kick. Like a pro. The left wing I shouldn't have pulled up his handbrake. That was an ideal opportunity to actually beat Baxter to it and take the ball in the air. Baxter wouldn't have tackled him. That probably would have been a solitary try for the Chiefs. Those are the opportunities they cannot afford to waste. I mean, there's so little in, few bit in between. Okay, and now a chance it. like that, they actually let it slip. Crouch. That is absolutely golden. And UJ Fine. is certainly going to attack from their own try line. Six. Not even try line, from all dead ball line. They are looking at the opportunity and right. striking that ball wide. I think that ball might be going straight to Tamini. Oh, Baxter has been waiting. He's been licking his lips. Oh, ball in two hands, full back in. Oh, Krill, do you have the wheels? Ah, uh, the Krill goes. He's basically, the ball is tucked in. He's galloping like a Giselle. Oh, show and go. Oh, a bit of a shimmy. Certainly does it. And what a runner from the left winger. But what a beautiful move from the old dead ball line, bringing Baxter on the secondary attacking line there. Both centers, Lamin and Jeda, running a flat line, keeping the centers honest. And that gap just opened up like a can of worms. Let's have a look again. Yoy! There we go. Grill just finishing the job there. It was absolutely well orchestrated. I'll tell you now. Let's have a look again. Okay, we gotta go, James. We're almost there. We're almost there. Seconds. Gotta go. I think the Chiefs are probably more thirsty than I am at the moment in terms of getting some uh, refreshments. I don't know if the refreshment of need a bit of in. Oh, that thing is not completely 10. What is UJ doing? Yes, you have to say, hey, you don't want to play. I'm here to play. Take some. Pass is full. What a take there from the big man. A whole 30 meters. He galavan on his own. Now he's got players on. Oh. 19, you're sealing off. He can't get to it. My goodness. Cleaning technicalities. Game him to play. Meet him. Was it Guava? Mess it all up yeah, for you after day, and all that good Number work has been undone. And then ill discipline of UJ coming in is something they cannot afford at this point in time. Van Rijsberg's like, listen, you guys might be ill disciplined, but I'm not. Yaza Van Rijsberg actually taking his man back. The ball needs to go. Oh, box kick, but to who? Looking for trouble again. Who's on the other side? Oh, my goodness, that ball. Bosch gets it eventually. Trouble is there, locking again. Jeda, Jeda would. Oh! What a tackle, but the ball might have gone backwards. Jeda gets it again. Who does it again, Mafinya? And it's like, aye, Baba. Vrupa. See you later. Your number's wrong on your back. You got five, I got 14. There's no match. 14 cylinders more than you. What a finish there. What a clean up there from Bosch. I think this man has got a hat trick by now. Let's have a look again. A bit of a dumpty little from Waza. He gets smashed and then obviously clean up job that Jeda has been busy. And sending his men off there, Sam Asimatle. Mafenyan is like, no, thank you very much. I'll complete this one. 66 points. No, this guy's actually going to get more. If I can add some more there, I think he's going to be saving three after. My goodness. You, you, you. Folks, I think I need some oranges as well. My, 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 my tongue hasn't counted so much in one half. But like I said, it's going to be halftime. UJ leading at 73 points to zero, but it's certainly an entertaining match here after.
Welcome back uh, to the second installment of this half where the Chiefs are hosting uh, UJ University and certainly today running Havoc 73 points in the first half and I'm sure the coach will like listen scratch that guys repeat replay rephrase certainly the R1 that scored doubled I will expect nothing less than that and I'm sure that's everything everyone is minds that moment is to like basic basic go through the basics and make sure everything is fine from the youth point of view but the Chiefs what do they have first of all let's see if they can collect the resist start and now that's probably taken from there their kicking game has been caught they've got around and behind UJ but they In see for instance that Bex is going to give them another ball Oof. contestable right taken at the man who ended up with a house on fire the big man the four started like they never stopped there goes the man Jordan taking it up he's got support there from Yafta quick ball there from him. Baxter Baxter gets it run around the oh Lamini 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 thank you sir he's gonna have his second as well as Lamini but I think Baxter is really playing puppet master at the moment he's controlling like a general let's have a look again but you gotta be thankful of those two front rowers. They were in a thick of things, including the hooker. Nice, they accepting from the ACL. ACL does in a back pass. Support run and obviously Clement didn't lose to use grill there. Easy try there. What a kick there from uh, <laughs> from Baxter. And certainly he's enjoying himself, Sean Baxter. He's certainly running puppet master. He's enjoying himself. He's playing with a smile. I don't know if that's a gum guard. But if it was, it would have been a different color. Certainly enjoying himself. And certainly why not? When you get a quality ball and a silver platter, service has been good from Bosch. The forwards have been doing their things. They've been rumbling, but they've been looking after that ball very nicely, especially the front rowers. That's a Van Rasberg, McLuhan, and Yafta. Certainly been enjoying themselves. I'm sure at some point they will get tired, but I don't think anytime soon. My goodness. There it goes again. Jeddah, Jeddah's busy again. Oh, what an offload. Nice cheeky one there from Wanza. Getting it up and then the ball is almost stolen. It is stolen out of Jordan's mouth. It's like taking a candy out of a baby. But it was illegally done, so says the ref. There's Van Veik. So like, that was not allowed. Captain, my captain, show some discipline. Basically wasting down. Oh, Jordan. Yeah, 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 Bosch, what happened? Oh, too over eager, Bevan Bosch, and certainly, I don't know if he was trying to milk another 10, but he would certainly would have got it right if he just got a tap correctly because the 10 meters would have been given again. Someone would have probably got his matching orders. Yeah, just over eagerness there from the scrum of Bosch. It's been good, it's probably one mistake today it was exactly that losing a bit of focus, losing a bit of concentration. But Jeddah, Crouch. Lamini, oh, Baxter, Fine. certainly taking control of proceedings. Six. I would be a winger in their team in any day at this point in time. Let's see what they do in defense. The defense has been good. It's going to be a hard one. Tavengwa gets it all, oh, chip and chase. Captain, are you going to collect? He certainly missed it cold, but oh, unlucky. Tabukhali Tapa there. It was obviously a concoction there between him and Tuffy Faber. And the captain and almost worked. He went up for the ball. He was not being touched. He just failed to collect the ball himself, which is unfortunate. But the guys are really busy. Anele Makatla, Van Rensberg, McLeaglin, McLeaglin, certainly running the show today. And you have to mustn't forget that the skill level from these front rowers today, you can see, is from the top shelf. You can see they've got the extra energy, unused energy from not scrumming today. Closey trying to get a fast on the back. That does a bit of a long, wrong pass. Bringing back Grille coming into the middle from the brand side to come. And there's some, oh, what a steal there from Nale Klapa. Obviously, UJ not looking after their ball. That they've had the numbers. It's unfortunate, just not clinical enough at that drag time. Klapa getting it up and says, just give me a few meters there, Shepard. Tavewa. Just go for touch and see what you can do with that. And Bosch was waiting for him and unfortunately decided to go on the other side. Oh, that ball is not going to... Oh, he's actually kicked it very well just between the right winger and uh, 
Dexter, the fly food, the pole, just send it to them so that they're not able to get it. Let's see now if there's going to be a possibility now. Take the line, please, Twins. Take the line. That one there, yes, yes. I'm trying to see. <laughs> too close, you too close, yeah? Looking like a, a four man. It's a clear five man line out, in and out. Not a very clean one, but does he get it? Does a little bit cheeky grabber, but he's well marshaled there. The full back hey, just actually again. shepherded and then walked in the and then the... <laughs> Pod gonna go back to that advantage, knock on from the line out. Yeah. Clearly that was not an advantage enough. Get in, please. Yeah, here he comes, James. Sorry. Yeah, they had one person missing in that front. Remember, it doesn't have to be a traditional Five, forward. Just need six. to have the eight players involved. It was non contested scrum. You can even have a scrum up playing at prop today. But Rose is playing a scrum up. Give us his flouting one, obviously. Faber does a boy! Rev, how did you see that? My goodness, one piece of brilliance. Faber and the clapper combination, Rev is like, nah, 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 nah. That was too good to be through. We actually ran through a line that was never there. But unfortunately, slightly forward the no, beautiful orchestration there between the fly half and the eats at center. Silly, they've got plans. Just unfortunately, they're not getting it there. The ball, they're not getting it where the position where they want it. But whenever they get it, it's always with pressure. Don't come closer, you're on fire. The one time UJ didn't put a lot of pressure, they almost broke their line. For Crouch. Probably for the first time that they broke it clean Five. like that. Six. Now Postra having a chance now to actually take off his ball. He's been watched. Baxter changes direction. Who does he bring? He's got Grill on his outside, but does he need him? Oh, he created enough space for him to come back. Grill does the right thing. Come back into traffic suddenly. Look like a man who can talk a lot on his shoulders. Pick and go from the big forwards there. Sadly doing a judo. Bosch getting it ready. Man, does he lose it? Oh no, he didn't. Oh, he lost it. Turn over ball there. Oof. Sadly keeping it alive as well is a Sanga Tlatrayo. But there's no like, rag, no hands in the rug. You can counter, but Stay not playing no, the go ball. Back, go back. I think UJ might be Bantage. fine to be offside here. Yeah? Faber actually gets an opportunity. He's got a free card to play with here. Is Lozzi, is he going to use it? He gets someone, but he gets a front row. Who said it? He does a good job of getting the ball away. <laughs> okay, 12 offside, 12. Jedi will find to go offside from UJ. Unfortunately, just over eagerness from their side. That's the kind of discipline that the coach was talking about. He doesn't need. Shepard is looking for an angle. He must not try to go for distance. He must just get himself in trouble. They're waiting for that ball not to go out. Got about five guys on that line. And said he does a good job of kicking high enough. And actually, a decent meters from that, I must say. Considering the kind of space he had, the angle he had. Let's see now if the lineup's going to work. It's probably a few of them didn't work today. But they've got some innovations out of their sleeves there they even tried to use. Let's see now how they're actually using it. Another in and out. The ball is also given, but it's not very clean. Close has to make sure he's been struck there for the answer from Rensberg. But he just get it out to the little flank of Sia and Sianda. Klatrao gets away, but it's actually well tackled on the side. Quick throw in. There we go. It's a situation. It is the chance. Trying to just get it away. Who does he get? Is it Lamini? Lamini gets it. She one hand free. Grill is open. Does Grill have enough wheels? Oh, Grill does the right thing. Trading with the line. Brilliantly done from the left winger. Oh, Setrana realized everyone was sleeping. No Channel 1 defense on the right hand side. So thank you. I'll take that. And I think that's his hat trick as well, the fullback. 
beautiful try there on the blind, unabated, and obviously defensive frailty from the Chiefs. Quick attempt to step over. From Baxter, let's have a look again. Beautiful interplay. I think Grill did brilliantly well there, securing the ball. Oh, Josie! He went on, it's not him actually, he's a replacement. Scrum off who went on defend on the secondary line, but left that blind uncovered. And the fullback says, Thank you very much. Dumela Sikhane just went in there and said, I'll collect if you don't want to collect. Dumela Sikhane, honor student, and diploma, business diploma management. A replacement that been thrown in the left, right, and center. Yeah, no, but when this game is life kicking, obviously injuries is part of the okay, situation. Go, 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 go. I mean, the game is been fast and furious. I'm sure the guys who are getting injuries, probably those self-inflicted ones, injuries, Achilles, and all of those things. It's been physical, but none of physicality has been taking place, except one or two collisions here and there. But it's been open rugby most of the time. Another collection, the ball is coming back in the middle. So who's getting it this time? It's center, it gets it up again. Jeddah. Not rolling, not rolling get back away. Team. Bosch is not waiting team. for anyone. He's, got, he's so get quick. Team. He's even getting himself off. Oh, another situation happening. Oh, my goodness. I think he got tackled by the grass, no but he gets up. No tackle. Because no one actually held him down. He's still keeping his feet the right winger. Feyane. Eventually gets brought down and then bringing it back. Oh, there's a puppet master. Rosi Lamini. Thank you very much. What a line there from Lamini. But Baxter has been at the right time every time. And that really auxiliary placement from him is absolutely brilliant. My goodness, it's going to be tries galore here. Yeah? Let's have a look again. The hard work done from Fanyana Polkon in the middle. Look at that beautiful auxiliary pass and what a nice flat landing from Tlamini. Sifiso Tlamini from Baxter. It's absolutely brilliant. I think Tlamini getting his hat trick as well. I think guys are going to be competing today. Who's getting hat tricks here? And it's going to make him my high job very hard. And the selectors deciding who the man of the match is by the look of things. But the Pepper Master is really controlling proceedings. Attack and defense is uh, Sean Baxter with the likes of Tumela Sikhane, who's also really got a hat trick. And certainly a game and a half in our hands in terms of, I think they're chasing their own score here. It's UJ. And why not? I remember now they left the score of 73 at halftime. And now we literally just over the 50 minute mark and almost at 100 again. But we're just a sh six points short of making 100. Shepard Tevangwa about to restart. Now he's tried everything there. Oh, try score against it immediately again. Oh, my goodness, he man has got gas. Oh, he's been striked. He's buying time. Who does he get? McGuckland Jordan gets in there, secures the situation. Ball is free options on the left hand side. Oh, nice pass there from Krill eventually. He's a big fella. No, no. Hey! My good Anal Makata. He's got all sorts of skills, but I'm talking about a sympathetic pass from that man, Nozi Guava. Oh, let's have a look again. Good baller, resuscitated. Mishe, Nozi Guava, grill. And obviously, giving that man a bit of good step handoff. Ah, it's too much to handle. Anal Makata. Certainly, what a praise for the big fella. Was a kick. Hey! Oh, Baxter. He's certainly not putting a foot wrong either today. Well, he's put a few in the first half, but now the wheels are nicely oiled. The grease is working nicely. Adrenics are pumping nicely. But a man who's actually playing nice rugby as well hasn't probably scored much. Just one try, but he's actually influenced. A couple of tries. He is grill. Absolutely brilliant. But the game plan is clear, and I like how Mitle goes to Guava, who's actually interplay there in the middle. How the front rowers actually knows the role and knows the interplay and knows the times when to do things as well. They don't get panicky, they let the ball do the work. But the man, I mean, is certainly a menace. Powerful runner, short, 
but no short of speed either. Absolutely marvelous. We've got 101 ah, looking for trouble again. Well, there's a big fella. This lesson. Oi! Catch me if you can. Yes, I'm under. Oi! My goodness, the right winger was not ready. What was to come? He was not ready. Fanyase van Rasberg actually was not expected to pass that ball. And Fanyane didn't expect it. He thought the man would go all the way. What a run from the big man. Unfortunately, Asimash and Fanyane took his eyes off the ball for a second. Otherwise, he was in there for probably his fourth ride today. But he's probably not in a hurry. Absolutely lovely stuff to see from the big fellas running freely. Beyond Nasif and Rasbeck, Jordan McLaughlin, and uh, Kumait Yafta. They've been running like wingers today. Is it because they've been scrummed? Probably. But I think they started doing that before the scrum ended. Then contested, but I think uh, Yafta is off the field. There's number 17 on, but it's not Yolo Yekwa. I'm not sure who it is, but could be JP Swanapul wearing jersey number 17. Just had a magic touch there to create a trifle. Magatla just been replaced. Crouch! Let's go, Jens. Let's have a good five then. Bind. Sit. Let's see now, remember now in the Feet front was you don't have to put in a generation of front was The ball is going through the hands for the first time. Captain gets skipped, but it's not a very good pass. Oh, Lolo! Who's cleaning up? Big fella who just got into the foul, Clegg Pignani. But I think technically go, cleaning up go. with that ball. The captain, like, let him try to milk a penalty. I think he might get advantage. That was not 10. But I think the ref needs to call again because I think the favor won't get anywhere as well. UJ needs to run hard as possible to get back into position. I think it's awful. Tep is also on the field. Faber tries to take on the big fellas. I think that's a mistake. Players need to roll away. I think they need to go again. <laughs> Faber tries to pull a fast one on the red line. Like, no. This fan fake. It was not clean enough for him to see. Guys were trying to get away. I think Lufuyo Yek was also on, but wearing jersey number 18 on the field at this point in time. So all front door, JP Swanapu, Luyola Yekwa, Avon Teva, all of Let's all the big fellas that started keep in front door. They all of well-deserved break there from the big fellas. They've been absolutely amazing in open play giving the other players now to the other fellas to run with. He's just trying to work out the line out to give, yeah? I'm trying to contest. Come to the ball to Swanapul, they're getting in the middle there. Go back, Gets go back, a meter, go back, go the back. ball is out of... Oh! He left the replacement. There is the man with the magic touch. Does he have the wheels? He's got the skills. Does he have the wheels? Oh! Talking about cheekiness. Personified. Certainly, he just showed, I've got the wheels, I've got the skills. I don't need a try. Said he just shove it over to his full back there. I think he's getting his foot to Melos. It's a Kane who certainly was there for support, just for being there for support. <sighs> Let's have a look. Look at that. Baxter showing he was over the try line. He could have put the ball down. But I think he's also smart. He wanted the kick to be much easier. Give it to someone in a better position.
absolutely champagne rugby. My goodness. Man, is had a lot of kick off here, Shepard Vangwa. He's tried all sort of kicks. And oh, he gets it. A little bit of shamble there from Tino. Sorry, glad that Pignani. At 13. The ball does come up eventually. Who gets it? A big number eight has been quiet in the second half. Well, I suppose the game is so fast and furious. Oh, there's a bit of a mess there. The ball was not clean enough. Everyone trying to get their hands on the ball. Unfortunately, <laughs> breakdown and fluency there comes to that. Another scrum to call. And obviously, the replacement coming in. Everyone is fresh, everyone is keen. Sometimes over eagerness just makes you a bit jittery. And the trick here was to get the ball back as fast as possible. I see Baxter's eventually move on to fullback, bringing a place like um, Yugan Africa taking over at fly off. Dumelas is climbing, is actually on. Is he off the field as well? I need to double check. Bind. Gamili Shoro is also on the field. Both feet behind. Yugan Africa on the field. The whole front row is on the field. Oh, <laughs> that's when people run out of ideas as Shepard everyone and decided to drop kick. And certainly that will be it. Final score 108 to 0. What a score, what a game there from uh, UJ. Certainly actually redeemed themselves very nicely. Been absolutely fluency rugby play there from them. And at this point in time, I think the man would probably have to give that man of the match today he is the number 10, the general. Listen, a lot of people have scored tries outside him. You're not going to score tries as a winger or as a fullback if the inside section is not doing the work. And certainly it's been instrumental how they were playing, how they were flowing, the game was flowing the whole time. And the man of the match is Sean Baxter, who was wearing jersey number 10 today. And last week was wearing jersey number 15. Final score here at the Castle Laga Paris Grand Challenge Club competition between uh, Wanderers and uh, UJ, 108-0.
dude. Just get all day.